Uh, drive this. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so some prerequisites we're gonna need to do before replacing the oil sight glass here. You can see the oil sight glass is very cloudy and it looks pretty bad, so you actually can't even really see where your oil level is at. We have a brand new oil sight glass right here that has the red ring, just like this one used to have. Um, this part was purchased from bmwpartsguy.com for all your BMW parts needs. I will link that th to the description below. So first thing we're gonna do to replace this oil sight glass is we're gonna have to remove the skid plate here, drain the oil, and while we're draining the oil, we might as well change the oil filter as well. If you're doing this on like a, this procedure is gonna be the same for pretty much all the R1100, 1150, and R1200 models. Some models have a little C-clip like this that retains the oil sight glass in there. In order to get that out, you just kinda get a pick or a screwdriver and then just kinda get under this pick, this little clip, and you can pry it out. Um, others have a big C-clip around here um, others don't have any retaining feature like this one. So, first thing we're gonna do is get the skid plate off, drain the oil um, on an RT or something. You're not gonna have to worry about a skid plate, but you'll still have to take the uh, lower fairing off. On like an R1100S, you're not gonna have to worry about anything. So, let's get the skid plate off and get the oil drained. All right, now that our oil is drained, we can go ahead and remove our oil sight glass. So removing your oil sight glass, we're kind of doing this, uh, this, is, this is how you do it. So just take a flathead screwdriver, a punch, a chisel, and I'm just literally gonna shatter the sight glass. You can use a hammer, a socket, uh, anything you can find. Just shatter the sight glass. Um, the back of the sight glass has a metal backing. So you'll just shatter it. We're gonna pick all the glass chunks out from behind here. No glass chunks will fall into your motor. If you look at this sight glass that we're replacing it with, there's glass isn't gonna fall through these little holes. Um, so take a flathead screwdriver and a little hammer and just ooh, break it just like that. And then we're gonna pick with maybe a needle nose pliers or really any suitable object. We're just gonna, actually we might not even need to pick the glass out. Use a flathead screwdriver and just get up under here. And then you can kind of just pry it out and they usually come out pretty easily. Ooh. So you just kind of have to work your way around and work it out. Um, you can see the glass falling behind there. Not a big deal. It's not going to fall into the engine. As long as you don't shatter it into a million pieces, it's not tempered glass where it's going to shatter a whole bunch and then fall into your engine. So we'll just slowly work at this sight glass with our screwdriver. Maybe safety glasses. So just kind of working my way around it and it will come out. Get all the glass out from under there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> All right. And as easy as that, the sight glass comes right out. So you can see this actually is the hardest sight glass I've ever had to remove. So what I ended up doing is stabbing a screwdriver through the metal backing and then getting a hook tool in there and around so I was able to just kind of wiggle it back and forth and pry it out. So I'm just using some brake and parts cleaner. And again, we'll just clean this out, get any sort of rubber debris or anything out of that bore there. Um, if you scratch that bore, you can put a little bit of, you know, RTV silicone or something on the ceiling surface. That'll allow it also kind of act as a lubricant so it slides in nice. And then this part can be a little tricky. Um, what I do is use a, this is a 30 millimeter socket. So it's about perfectly sized with that bore there. So it makes a really good um, seal driver. We'll just gently tap it in and keep checking on it. And we're basically gonna tap it in until it's completely bottomed out on the back side. So keep checking on it, making sure we're going in flush. So I can tell I'm a little off to the right side there. So I'll tap a little more on this side. Check it again, feel it. So right there looks just about perfect. And that's all there is to it. So now we're gonna refill our engine up with fresh engine oil, spin a new oil filter on, and then reinstall our skid plate. And then here comes the oil and it'll stop to the middle upper level of the sight glass. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching my oil sight glass installation video on this beautiful BMW R1150GS. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and go to www.bmwpartsguy for all your BMW part needs. Thank you, have a safe ride.